Hello and welcome back to Baldur's Gate 3. Um, I've Moving still ahead. got quite a lot to explore in this town, but I'm going to try and keep it at a minimum because there's going to be plenty of opportunities to wander around. And I know that, uh, you know, the, the fun stuff is going to be the combat is going to be, um, you know, completing quests and Did also you know talking to various I NPCs. We're going to talk to, well, we're going to talk to Nettie here oh, because they have a quest for us. So they are I see you. progressing a quest. Just give me a moment. Is there anything I can do to help? A moment. This medication. There. It's up to her now. Life or death. Now what? A great dwarf. Never thought I'd meet a decent one. Oh, that's rude. But I heard what you did at the gates. You need something. I wonder if I I was mistaken in picking a uh, Dwager. Um, I I've always uh, been a um, I've always enjoyed the concept of them, but I I do know that for a long time, D and D has had a bad track record for having just like races that are um, evil, and I think that the Dwager and the Drow are a uh, part of that that problem. I know they're trying to shake it a little bit, but. Um, I do wonder, is that some, am I mistaken for having pick and, picked a, uh, a Dwager Dwarf? You let me know in the comments, I guess. Uh, that's me, that's me, uh, poking for some <laughs> algorithm joy. But anyway, either way, like, I, I, I am, it's a, it's an interesting topic to me. It's almost one I'd like to, like, think out, um, through an episode, but I'm not gonna right now. I'm looking for Nettie. You found her, but I still don't know what she can do for you. Sorry, I, someone mentioned that the the volume was a little quiet, so I'm gonna I'm gonna uh, kind of bring it up a little bit. Uh, I still don't know what you can do for you. Healing as soon as possible. Come here, let's have a look at you. You seem healthy enough. A bit tired around the eyes, maybe. No good way of putting this. I uh, have a tadpole in my head. A tadpole. A mind flare tadpole. You know of them? Can you help me? Uh, what other kind are there? No, I don't want to be rude. I... Uh, I'll do what I can. Come, follow me. I might be able to help. We need to be quick. This way. Secret doorway. Secret entrance to a secret lab. It could be a lab, but it's a druid lab, so it's There's just a, it's a library that, actually. This one had the same problem as you. Attacked us in the woods together with some goblins. Tadpole crawled out of his head soon after. And Drow and I have the same kind of parasite. Um, I'm hoping for a less grave cure. I'm assuming he didn't. He would. They didn't kill him. I'm. I'm assuming he died to the uh, parasite. Also, do you still have that parasite? Because apparently that's worth something to me. Are you gonna jam that up my nose? I'll do the best I can. Yo, I don't know if I. I... No, Master Hals in mind. He'd have your tadpole out like that. Maybe we should go find still, him first. We have options. You don't have to be here for this. Please, don't mind me. I'll just watch. All right. Let's see what we can do. Maybe. Oh, oh, mm. What's that plant? Will it help? She shifts uneasily, hesitating. Something's off. It might. But first things first. Tell me about your symptoms. Have you noticed anything strange happening? Um. It might. What aren't you telling me? I'm telling you everything you need to know. Believe me on that. Okay. I want to help you, but I can't unless you work with me. So, has anything unusual happened to you? <clears throat> uh, I can merge my mind with anyone else that's infected. Victims can identify each other. Not that the others know they're victims, of course. How do you pick up the parasite? Halson was desperate to find where all this was happening. On a mind flayer ship, I was kidnapped and infected. A mind flayer ship? But Master Halson was sure. Look, you've been straight with me, so I'll be straight with you. 
You're dangerous. If you transform here, we're all dead. But you seem like a good soul. You deserve a chance to save yourself. Mm. Was the pointy stick to this kill me? This is a vial of wyvern poison. Swear to me, you'll swallow it if you feel any symptoms. Cleric of Helm, in the Watcher's name, I swear it. But you could cure me. What about that branch of yours? That was a wand, my dude. You were you were gonna eat shit. The thorn, coated in a fatal toxin. Yeah. It was a last resort, in case I couldn't trust you. I don't have a cure. Only a way out. I'm sorry for misleading you, but I had to be sure you weren't a threat before I told you everything. Now, do I have your word or not? Now, I want to talk about this for a moment. There's a couple things I want to mention here before I continue. Um, one, my kind of disgust with most of the games journalist sites that have gone out of their way to spoil as much as possible of, of this game not just with headlines but with pictures and thumbnails and as much as possible it's been really really hard to basically avoid anything about Baldur's Gate but also um major events and so I am spoiled now uh by which I mean I am spoiled and I'm not going to spoil it for you now but um basically what happens if you embrace the worm uh the parasite it's a very interesting mechanic. It's one that I would like to explore. But if I'm being honest, if this was a D&D &D scenario and I was playing my character, I would do everything that I can to probably, um, you know, get rid of it. So that's what I'm going to do. And it's annoying because, um, you know, from a gamer perspective, I like to explore mechanics. Um, but from a role play perspective, I like to try and, and do what I can to... Uh, you know make make right by the world um so I, those two things kind of conflict in this specific situation um if i was playing this game on my own i would 100 percent explore the parasite and all of its fun uh, and crunchy mechanics that that seems like a, a great time for me um i wish i didn't know that they existed because then that this decision would be a lot easier for me um but i i wanted to address those things because you know, I know that the game's been out for a little bit now and people all know about that, but uh, I, I kind of resent knowing it at all. Um, so I am going to Cleric of the Helm in the Watcher's name, I swear it. And uh, I have to assume that if since I am, I, that is a, an oath that I have made, a clerical oath, I have to abide by it or else my god will be pissed. Um, so. I hope it doesn't come to that, but thank you. Here. Asterion disapproves. You know, I've spent my life treating folk and never once saw a mind flare infection. Then suddenly, there's dozens of you. Maybe more. I don't know if you know Master this. Mr. Halson and I were tracking them, studying them, trying to figure out what the hell was going on. Am I too close to the door because that it's like auto opening? Changing. There should be a small army of mind flayers out there. But you're not. Weird powers aside. You seem perfectly normal. Um, <laughs> I, I don't know if she's aware, but uh, there is a giant mind flayer spaceship just like kind of hanging out on the beach. It, it, it stands to reason why people are changing. What do you mean should be changing? Mind flayers reproduce by infecting someone with their parasite. Seven gruesome days later, the victim transforms and a new mind flare is born. The thing in your skull, though, it's different to anything in our records. It's one of their worms for sure. But this one gives you powers, telepathic connections, and it doesn't turn you into one of them. Not yet, anyhow. Um, so you think it's only a matter of time? Could be, but there's a lot we don't know. Infected, folks like you, have been converging on an old temple of Saluna, and I've no idea why. When Master Halson heard the adventurers were heading that way, he saw a chance to get answers, joined on the spot. Whatever he found there, he didn't make it back. What do you want me to do? The thing is, I've sent birds to find him, 
but the place is rotten with goblins. None of us can even get close. You, though, you're one of them. Technically speaking, I mean. They won't kill someone carrying their parasite. If you can find Halson and get him out of there, we can discover what he learned. And perhaps he can save your life. How's that sound? Um... You sure you can cure me? No. Yeah, we're, we're already you. committed to finding Halston. It would mean everything to the groom. To me. I wish I could tell you more. But only those adventurers know what happened out there. All I can say for sure is they all went to the old temple of Saluna. And Master Halston didn't make it back. Good luck out there. And if things start to go bad, remember the vial. Remember your oath. Yep. Time, Nettie. Come on. Pretty. But I wouldn't take wyvern poison even if we do begin to turn. Hey, I mean, I made the most hysterion. Than ceramorphosis, nonetheless. I'm. I'm. I made that. Uh, the if oath. You start to turn. I encourage you to take it. I'm sure it'll be very entertaining for the rest of us. <laughs> oh, point it. I can point at things. I wonder if this has some uh, recipes in it. Yeah, I learned about an antidotes. It was one thing I really liked in uh, Divinity was discovering recipes and all kinds of stuff. It's actually like crafting. I, I'm generally speaking not a huge crafting buff. I find it a little bit tiresome, but um, the, the, the Divinity games really made it worthwhile. Uh, I would I don't spend blood on my hands. like actual hours to defend our home. Uh, so that's what you want to kill a bunch of innocents. Go in, uh, you anyone. know, making various different arrows Not um, for for you know creating good in, uh, good situations in combat. The uh, arrows were some of my favorite things in uh, in Divinity. Um, is there someone else that we should talk to here, Kaga? A grey dwarf. In our grove on this day. A sign. Or rather, a gift. What do you mean a Better gift? to understand a watchful broodmother than one who hails from below. I, uh, you are making all kinds of assumptions, lady, and I don't care for any of them. I don't make a habit of threatening children. She made her choice. Ugh. I thought one like you might understand. When a threat makes itself known, you remove it. No matter. I took back the idol of Sylvanus, and the rite is resumed. We will seal the grove, free from harm, free of intruders. Don't we have to talk her out of uh, doing that um, ritual? This rite must be born of powerful magic. You can't just force these people out. I am first druid now. I protect the circle, whatever the cost. You showed great metal at the gate. The metal of a skilled sword for hire. I want you to provide your services to the tiefling leader. Zevlor, he's called. Offer to guide the Outlanders out of the grove. I'm sure they'll reward you well. They're to be gone before final prayer. If they are not, the Viper must strike. Oh, this is just this is just Druid Brexit. That's that's what I'm getting here. Yo, yo, I, I'm not, I'm not down for Druid Brexit. I'm sorry. Then it seems like uh, I'd best speak to Zevlor. You will do more than speak. This tale ends but one way. With the Outlander rot cleansed, and the grove forever shrouded. Yo, I all kinds of don't like this person. Not, not down. Not down for any of that. I know druids are not a fan of outsiders at the best of times, but you know what? It's, it's all in how the, they want to be played. Uh, from a DM perspective, from a player perspective. And, um, can we, I'm trying to, one thing I liked in Solas, <clears throat> sorry, sorry. Uh, in Solasta was the ability to like click on the map and it would just like send you to the position 
in that map what is going on here oh is this um what is that F save arabella we got a bunch of npcs to talk to you i'm afraid ever scare me like that again and i'll feed you to a null mom i'm fine stop it our little hellion told us what happened thank you Poor choice of words, I think. Um, I hope we'll meet again under better circumstances. I saved your daughter. Got anything? <laughs> I, I always hate this option in games. This could have ended badly. Keep her in line from now on. I, I actually appreciate this in in this case. The nine hells will soon a freeze over, but we'll try. I don't think you understand how close she came to death, my dude. Tav is inspired. Snake Whisperer. Twenty-five XP. The druids don't care about us. No one does. I mean, druids definitely do don't really ourselves. care about you, that's for sure. Chimera's Locket grants us where the ability to cast Dancing Lights. I As I understand, Dancing most. Lights is actually quite good. Stupid and reckless. I do really like Dancing Lights. Um, I can't remember how it works. I think I'll give it to Lazel. Um, I think Dancing Lights could serve as a ranged ability for her when she's not able to uh, melee someone right away. Well, a lot of well, something that a lot of people have like um, been drawing. And just just to um, address this right away, because I really don't want people to you know be up in my grill in the comments about well, it's up to you to not read articles and stuff and like not spoil it yourself. I truly hate that attitude, and I'll tell you why is because if you basically exist on the internet at all, and you know I I kind of have to un unfortunately. It's really difficult to avoid that stuff. Like there, there are sites putting spoilers in article titles and I'm just like, why are you doing that? Like, I understand why you're doing it. You're doing it to get clicks, but you're also like actively spoiling this game. Um, not just in a story sense, but also you're like kind of ruining the game for me. <laughs> and it's really frustrating. <laughs> and I, I do care. Like, I know some people don't care about spoilers, but I do kind of care and it just kind of sucks so um it's it's frustrating and i have a right to call it out i think wonder if the gods are watching at least uh you know mention i i i disapprove of it and i'm wondering uh there's a one more quest thing below is what is this uh what, what what is this quest see it's so return to zevlor okay we got to return to zevlor and as soon as we're done this then i'm going to try and find this halston oh yeah we haven't been here yet hello zevlor i heard what happened thank you for protecting the child if the druids are this far gone then it's not just goblins we have to fear so we can risk violence here or face it for certain on the road quite the choice isn't it um can you delay the ritual you saw what they were willing to do to a child just for trying it's corga's influence without her twisting things i believe the druids might see sense um, you need to cut your losses and run. Well, this is the I don't like either of these options, but I guess yeah. It's good of you to offer but there's a whole army of goblins out there We'd need an army of our own to escort us safely to Baldur's Gate and while I don't doubt your abilities You're no army There may be a way though Goblins are ill-disciplined. It's unlike them to organize so cleverly Somebody must be leading them, bringing discipline to their ranks. Take out that leadership, and they'll scatter. It's no small thing to ask, but I've seen you fight. You're equal to the task. Um. Kill the, the goblin horde's leader. I'll see what I can do. Everyone in this camp depends on it. Why does? Thank you. We'll be ready to leave as soon as you give word. Why does Asterion disapprove of us killing a goblin no, leader? Sir. I know he's kind of evil. There's a clear path past those goblins. They'll find it. Yes. So what is this up here? 
Uh, goblin camp, Githyanki patrol, save the goblin Saza, reach the goblin camp, camp, find the leader of the goblin camp, search for the Halson. Yeah, okay, so we've got a bunch of things to do at this goblin camp. We're gonna have to do that. Oh, I to put my hands on everything. Um, I guess we're not supposed to go up that ladder. Let's not go that way. I don't think uh, anyone really made a... Okay, so yeah, the goblin camp is west. Um, they have told me generally the direction that I'm supposed to go. So let's go ahead and uh, go to this waypoint and we'll just head west from here. I know uh, Isterian needs to level up. I know they do not. It is my responsibility to cleanse myself. They pursued the Nautiloid. Perhaps they were trying to free you. A vain notion. I am one of many and will not be a burden to my queen. I do like Lazel. Um, she's an interesting character. They're all interesting characters. Strange. I haven't seen a single character healthy. that didn't have some Stone dead. something kind of cool going dead, on. My friend, staring at it won't bring it back. Come on. We'll never fix these brain worms if we stop and gawk at every piece of carrion you find. Examine the boar's corpse. Oof. Uh, I'm not gonna roll again for that. to be fresh, only a few hours dead. But you can't find any sign of a wound. See? Nothing. Come on, we're wasting our time. I do like Asterion as well. I know Asterion has been uh, kind of a fan favorite so far. Might be useful. And I understand why. He's he's a uh, he's quite likable, even though his motives and his morale um, kind of ethics are are not. He's he's kind of a pain in the ass, but you know, I like him still. Knives and spoon. Yes, we will take the knives and spoon. We'll take the plates and knives and spoon. Um, oh, and there's another one. We'll take the fork and... Yeah, I mean, I'm going to take this stuff, sorry. I am going to be a, a bit of a loot monger. What we got here? Potatoes. Boil them, mash them, stick them in a stew. Okay, um, these guys are checking out their own dead... Allies. I, mean, I wish we could at least have given them a proper burial. Hmm. What happened here? I told them to run, the idiots. You better turn north here, or you'll end up like them. I'm afraid we're going west. Thought you was busy with the foul bloods in Elson's Grove. Goblins need to be dealt with, so I'm dealing with them. Bet you will too. Just like my mates here did. Contract cleverly left out, we'd be tits deep in these buggers. <laughs> what was the contract? The kind that leaves half your crew dead. Half your crew. There's a wizard in Baldur's Gate that'll pay gobloads for a relic, supposedly buried round these parts. Oh, yeah? Gold ain't any use if you're too cold to spend it. Want to tell me more about this? Well, let's say I want that gold. Where would I find that relic? It's called the Night Song. Supposed to be hidden under the temple where the goblins jumped us. Mm. I'd give you a map of the temple and wish you a happy funeral. But my mate Brian kept hold of it like his own sodger. Goblins made sure to the fat old chunk. Okay. All I've got's the contract. Can show you where we turn back. If you feel like dying. Um Thanks, I'll take it. <laughs> Don't thank me. I'll be well on my way to Boulder's Gate when you die. I'm just glad to be rid of the bloody thing. Happy hunting. Well, I wanted to do more. You're wasting time. Oh, wow. They're gone. Okay. Well, let's just kind of wait a convenient amount of time. Now, let's check out this. Okay, yeah. We got we got a potion. We got some cheese. Got some, got some more cheese. Got a dagger. Okay, cool. Goblin. All right, yeah. Ooh, goblin drawing. Yeah. What do you mean? 
read. Drawn in thick charcoal lines upon an animal skin, this childlike portrait depicts three stick figures. A goblin with sparks in its hands, a square humanoid figure, and what seems to be an elf. Each of them is wearing a simple crown. Uh, dead goblin. We got a scimitar and a skull. A skull. Scroll of charm person. That's quite nice. I'm pretty sure... Now, I made this complaint in um, Solasta, and I will make it here, but I do kind of wish it would tell me who can use these scrolls. You know, like, oh, I didn't mean to... Okay, well, okay, that answers the question. <laughs> Seems like Tav can use them. Um, did that mean I used it, or did I cancel it in time? So I can use this as well? Okay. Um, Solasta had a different method of things and um, it uh, it followed the strict guidelines of D&D, &D, which is that not every spellcaster can cast every spell. Certain spells are appropriate for wizards. Um, oh no. I can smell trouble, lad. Okay, we want to go into hiding ourselves then. Moonhaven. Keep your blade close. Let's uh, level up Asterion real close, uh, real quick. Twing. Chosen subclass arcane. Oh, he's gonna be an arcane trickster. Choice is pending. We do not have a choice of this. He gets mage hand. Which is nice. I don't mind mage hand. Um, uh, there's definitely better options. Acid Splash is quite good. That's a cantrip. Bone Chill is a cantrip, but that's generally at touch. Um, but it looks like it has 18 meters. Am I reading that right? Prevent the target from healing on your next turn. Uh, Bone Chill is quite nice. Poison Spray is good. That's three meters. Why are we doing meters? I should really set that to uh, Imperial. And uh, please believe me. I, listen, I know I'm, I'm, you know, Mr. Canada here, but D&D uh, &D uses strict Imperial. I, I can't. I, I have no, I have no choice in this matter. Take only half the damage from bludgeoning. Imper oh, the Blade Ward is nice. Friends gain advantage on charisma checks against a non-hostile creature. That is a cantrip. I'm pretty sure... If I take this, it might offer that option in dialogue screens. Dancing lights is nice. Illuminates a nine meter radiance. Uh, radius, sorry. Light, minor illusion. Uh, true sight. I'm going to take uh, friends. I think that that would be good. So our spell attack is negative one, worth noting, and our spell save DC is negative one. Um, prevents the target from healing until your next turn, and undead target receives disadvantage in attack rolls. I at least um, the the main thing here is that they don't have to, they don't get an opposing uh, save against it. I'm just trying to roll against their AC, which is good. I'm I'm okay with that. Um, so then we get level one spells. Charm person, color spray, disguise, self tashes hideous laughter is quite good. Um, but then they're rolling against my spell save, and that's not good. Yeah, they get a wisdom save. I'd like to take disguise self. Uh, I think that that would be good. Color spray blind creatures up to a combined 33 hit points. Charm person, they get a wisdom save against that. Uh, I think I'd rather take things... Ooh. Wait a minute. Oh, sleep is actually quite good. Because they don't get a... It does. It looks like they don't get a save against that. It's just up to their hit points, so let's take that. That's, that, that counts as a combat spell. And then you can add a wizard spell of your choice to the spellcasting repertoire. Burning Hands is at touch, I believe. No, it's five meter radius, which is pretty good. 
charm person is okay um chromatic orb is a nice damage spell uh possibly creates a surface on impact alternatively choose a different type of damage false life exp expeditious retreat Featherfall. I love Featherfall. You and nearby allies gain immunity to falling damage. Ice knife. Oh, Grease. I love Grease. Let's take Grease. Yeah, magic Missiles is good, but I have enough combat spells. And if uh, our rogue here actually gets spells to play with, I'd rather take less um, spells and get more circumstantial stuff this guy itself is the only one i might not want the reason being is uh is this a bonus action let's uh let's just have one quick look here um spells this guy itself uh it doesn't really oh t inspect it, it, it doesn't let me like really look at it Oh, it's an action. Yeah. So the problem with this guy itself is it's cool and all, but it takes an action to use, whereas hiding is a bonus action. If it was a bonus action, I mean, first of all, I understand it would be, like, hilariously overpowered. Um, I actually think that color spray would be better. So I'm going to take color spray. Charm person would be nice, but I, I really don't like taking spells where the... I, I have to... You know, the, the opponent gets a, sp a save DC... Or a, a spell, a, a save check. What am I trying to say here? A, um, you know, they get to roll to save against it. I don't like it because, generally speaking, my luck with that is pretty bad. So, I'm seeing red here. I'm assuming that that means that there's some baddies here. About Baldur's Gate. The food. Freshest fish I've ever had. I don't care for fish. Red means no. You sniffing where you ain't ought to be, friend. Might have to take that nose. Oops. As the symbol glows, power courses through you. Authority. Illithid wisdom. Let's try again, shall we? Address me properly. <laughs> I think the Dysterian might be good with the worm for now. Um, I bypassed your guards. If you, if I meant you harm, I could have just killed you all. He does have a pretty good persuasion check. Now, how come he doesn't get to have the friend spell? I guess he, he, him casting. Oh wait, add bonus guidance. I'm not sure why I shouldn't always be doing this. Difficulty class 15, it's quite high. Does that make it? Might make it. Yes, just barely. Ah, oh, go on. Ain't bothered mucking my blade with ya. Mind your manners. Charlatan just passing through. Asterion is inspired. Okay, and we've got ourselves a, a waypoint there. Looks like we're gonna get to walk through here. I love, I love, this is like one of my favorite things in D&D, just in general, is like when you can talk your way through uh, out of a combat. I I don't mind combat in D&D, but I personally think that the strength of D&D is in its flexibility to offer non-violent resolution. Efficient. Why not have a little fun? Fun. I fight to win, not to make spectacles. <sighs> okay, so there's our waypoint. Um, how far do we have to go still? Find the night song. So there, we're trying to get over here. This is the blighted village, huh? Moss covered chest. Let's go ahead and lockpick that. Ooh, what do you mean disadvantage? Okay, we got to fix this now. We have got to fix this now. I am really not a fan of um, Asterion having that armor. Do we not have any other armor we can offer? How much AC? Uh, three AC. It might be better to just take it off. We really don't have any other armor, huh? Hmm...
Okay, well, let's take it off for now. Oh, okay. Let's put it back on for now. <laughs> we'll just roll a disadvantage. I have enough, like, bonuses that it should be fine. Listen, this is not the playthrough where everyone's naked and uh, everyone's having sex with everyone all the time, I'm afraid. There's plenty of, uh, of playthroughs like that on YouTube. Smooth start. At the start of combat, the wearer gains momentum. What is momentum? I really kind of wish that they would be a bit more descriptive about these things. Seems like a good helmet, though. Like, come on. You got to know that the player's going to want to know what momentum means. Um, I guess I could look. Is there a tutorial or guide somewhere or a glossary? Passives, items, rogue. What does this mean? Oh, these are things I can do as a rogue. That's nice. Um, combat log. Not really what I want. In-game menu. That's not what I want either. Well, I mean, that's super unhelpful, but I guess I'll, uh, go ahead and throw that on Asterion for now. They, oh, this is their relationship with us. They are not really cool with us right now. Um, current XP. I was wondering, I would, it would be kind of nice if I could see everyone's approval rating of me. And it's not good. Not great. I mean, that's me. So everyone's kind of, uh, you know, not sure about me. Um, let's have Lazil actually. Oh, enough waiting. I crave blood. I crave blood. I'm gonna have uh, Lazil carry all the the stinky fish because I don't think that she'll care, and also, um, she's probably got the biggest uh, strength check. Lots of things to. Uh, Empty. Empty. Oh. Good. Ooh, tons of nice things. We don't need that. Rescue the gnome. Look what we got here. Another little birdie wanting to fly. Lazel will be. Re Ooh. <laughs> Flap those wings some more, and I'll feed you a worm. And you. Hope you got a stomach for rights. Um, I'm not looking for trouble, just wanting to pass by. What the hell else are you doing? What's it bloody look like? We're teaching this here pipsqueak to fly. No, I'm pretty sure Lazel would just not care. Let me rephrase that. Why are you doing this? Because it makes me laugh. <laughs> It does look funny, I'll admit. Mind if I stay and watch a while? We ain't looking for company, maggot. Not unless you want to join him up there. <laughs> How about this? You pay a toll and go on as you like, or else you fly. It's astounding to Cough me. It up. As the symbol glows, power courses through you. Authority. All right, let's let's definitely use this. I'm going to pay nothing, and you and your cronies are going to leave. Difficulty class two. Wow, not a difficult um, check there. You're a true soul. I didn't know. Wouldn't dare question you, never! A shiver runs across your mind. You feel sated. We'll, uh, we'll, we'll, we'll leave you to it. Ah. Let's find you something to eat. All right then. Fresh meats. Scared meats. Yes. Why is the warg talking? <laughs> Let's 
All right, let's um, let's help the poor gnome. Release break break lever. There you go. Are we gonna have to time this thing so that they're near the ground when it happens? Yo, my dude, do you think that, uh, how, you know, the, the next words better be thank you is all I'm saying. Cut me loose. Um, well, Lazel would probably be nasty about it. Free me and find out. All right. Ugh. Baga Kabara, those pustulant thugs. Well, get on with it. Get on with what? I'm a deep gnome, you're a grey dwarf. You helped me. Now you plan to enslave me. It's not what I want. What then? Torture? Blood sport? Or perhaps just a good old fashioned walloping? I do appreciate how much, like, connected dialogue there is with the fact that I'm a Dwager. like so many games would just kind of ignore that so th it is really kind of interesting I'd rather know how you got caught uh, my own fault really I should have dropped my pack and outrun those bastards alas take my pack if you can find it the only reason those goblins caught me was its weight I'll travel lightly from now on you're a little far from home for a deep gnome. Ignorance is alive and well, it seems. Deep gnomes aren't restricted to the Underdark, you know. I've lived in Baldur's Gate for years. I'm in search of a friend. I fear he's in trouble. See this? I gave it to him years ago before I left home. I found it around the neck of a thug in the lower city. It was speckled with blood. My friend, nowhere to be found. But I still have hope. I have reason to believe he's in the Underdark. Hopefully, I'll pick up his trail from there. Well, you're still a long I ways from the Underdark. I help my friends. On that note, <clears throat> I bid thee farewell. If we should meet again, well, we will have met again. Nice. <laughs> good, good stuff, I guess. Um... It's a, it's a pretty funny line of dialogue, you know, calls me ignorant for assuming that he should be in the Underdark. Uh, and then says, yeah, I'm actually supposed to be in the Underdark right now, looking for my friend. I'm assuming there's this, yeah, there's the heavy backpack right there. We got smoke powder satchel. Ooh, that's quite nice. Let's send that to Shadowheart and take the rest of that. I didn't really necessarily want to take all of his stuff. Empty. A crate. Fascinating. <laughs> now, uh, I just had to check something there. An old standby of Larian games for me, uh, when me and my friends would play it, uh, any, any interactable uh, device or item in the, uh, environment, if you, like, rapidly clicked it, it would spam the the kind of ooh a crate like 50 bazillion times and it, apparently they fixed it they finally fixed it you can't do that in this game when the wearer dashes or takes a similar action during combat they gain three lightning charges well that's gonna go to asterion i think that's fantastic arrow of lightning um let's send that to asterion as well actually He's going to be our resident ranged user and um, definitely, definitely he's going to be dashing a lot. Trust no one. And let's throw those on him. Look at that. He's starting to get a, a real look to him now. Appreciate that. Anything else in here? Oh, yeah, there's a wooden barrel with some torches. No, oh, no need for those. I think we're all dark vision users. Rotten Durenbold cheese. Nobody has as many friends as the man with many cheeses. 
road dust gray clothes shattered wine barrel all right well we've gotten even more quests i i, I really like this game such a grim name for such a beautiful flower i heard you mumbling that line to yourself earlier it needs more work fortunate for his tongue he didn't say it to me that's pretty good we should be able to get over this wall hey guys we, we can definitely jump over that wall um where is the jump jump huh. all right it's funny if you get one person to jump they all figure it out but if you click on it a little bit prematurely then uh they're like what there's a waist high wall there what do you expect me to do i'm going to walk miles out of this city in order to bypass this wall you'll have to forgive me i i do want to explore as much as possible and i think that that is definitely the intention of the game water how do you say it they what? A water. What the hell are you doing? Uh, apologies. I didn't mean. Whoa, what's going on in here? Ruined. Smash. Oh, smash you! Did I just walk into what I think? Just. What is that? Is that an ogre? And a bugbear? Dang. Wait, what what else? What in the Christ Alright. Lazel, um You've got uh, a new trick you can do, right? How where do I find this new trick? Dancing lights. Um how do I find this? Actions? There it is. Illuminates a nine meaty. Uh, I don't. Th I, I guess I thought dancing lights was like uh, create days or something. But anyway, she can reach the bugbear. So we're gonna go ahead and do that. Actually, let's um. We should be able to do uh, a lacerate, which is more damage. So let's go ahead and do that. Can we not do that? It's an action. Can't target self. Threatened. Why can't I t target him with it? Sometimes I do not understand um, how things work in this game. Must take a short rest. Oh, we can't do it. We have to. We have to take a short rest before she can do that again. Oh shoot. And we missed. That sucks. Um, does everyone have full health? I think so. Dance macabre. Um, we're not in a great spot here. If we go like right here, they're all both pointed away. So I could go here and then do a hide. Can't be threatened. Ugh, I make this mistake every single time. I really, that's, that's such an annoying little thing about hide. Because I'm not threatened, technically speaking. I mean, I am technically speaking threatened, but it's just annoying. Um, we're going to swap to uh, double daggers. Use melee weapon set. And um, we're just going to... Why are we at disadvantage? God, I got to get the stupid armor off of him. Take it off. Fine, we're naked. Why are we still at disadvantage? I swear to God. Okay. We're we're good. I mean, we're not good. Everything about this is bad. We're going to put that back on. I guess we can't. I guess I used my bonus action. That's why I couldn't use my short <laughs> my short attack. Um, okay. Let's look at cantrips for a moment. Didn't you get a new one? Did I put her 
Oh, right. She got some, uh... What did I give her? Oh, yeah. Smoke powder satchel. Damaging everything in its vicinity. So I think I can throw this. And, um... Yeah, I can't throw it in a way that it won't basically threaten my allies, so let's not do that. Um, let's do a Guiding Bolt. I'm pretty sure it would be better for me to move over here before I do it. Reason being is then I'm not... Okay, never mind. I, I thought maybe that Liz Lazel was providing cover. Miss. Dang. Protect the creature from attacks. We're going to protect uh, Asterion. Because he's, he's definitely in need of some AC right now. Get out. Ouch. Well, that didn't do it. Oh, cool. Attack of opportunity. Oh my god. Lazel just absolutely ate it. Um... Might be a good opportunity for a level two spell here. Uh, oh, can we cast? No, we can't. I, I always make this mistake. Uh, heal your allies and increase their hit point maximum by five points. Let's do something like that, maybe. Hmm, maybe not. Let's just do a guiding bolt. We could do a healing word. I'm gonna do a guiding bolt and uh, we're gonna try and take out this uh, ogre. That's not bad. Um, let's pr try and protect Lazel, Shield of Faith. Okay, we're going to disengage. And, um,. Go over here. I can't hide, unfortunately. Um, can we do a sneak attack, though? Disadvantage from equipment. What is going on? I do not... Oh, the speedy light feeder medium armor. That's why. All right, I'm going to put this back on, on because it... Yeah, we're not proficient with medium armor. That's what's going on. Uh, you'll have to forgive me. I'm, 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 I'm still trying to figure things out. The armor is, uh, uh, definitely a sticking point here. Immediately gain an extra action to use this turn. So first of all, we're going to do the second wind. Um, then I think we should use an action surge. Uh, must take, we can't do last rate still. Uh, and I'm never going to be able... Get the Yankee's psionics jump, huh? Triple creature's jumping distance. Mage hand. So she's getting extra abilities from the the worm. Um, we're just going to do a basic attack, I think. Damn. Stop missing at a 60%, please. Um, scroll of detect thoughts. We definitely want to do something else here. Blessing of the trickster. Grant another creature advantage on stealth checks. Distract your enemy with an illusion within three meter meters of the illusion. Attack rolls have advantage. Re okay, let's do this. Not enough space. And we're going to do a healing word on Lazel. Take two. And we're going to hope for the best. Nice. So the illusion has already paid for itself by taking an attack. That uh, that could have killed Asterion. Unfortunately, Asterion is now in threat range again. Um, let's do an inflict wounds on um, Boothir. Can't reach destination. Is this at, is it at touch? uh melee yeah okay so and we can't get in range unfortunately so i'm gonna move forward and then we're gonna use a different spell um let's do preserve life 
click to confirm. And um, we're going to give Asterion Shield of Faith. Oh, I thought that uh, I thought that Shadowheart was prov providing Shield of Faith. Sorry, I probably wasted at least one spell in this round. All right, um, Lazel, you really need to not miss again. Okay, thank you. Appreciate you. Potion of Glory is vaulting. Let's have some so we are in threat range, unfortunately. Um, we could do a piercing strike. We could do uh, various different things. I'm going to back up. Can we do... We can't do grease. Not proficient with equipped... Oh my god. Can't cast spells. My god, I have badly equipped um, Asterion. And we're at disadvantage. My god, this is so bad. But we actually managed to, at disadvantage, hit the... Uh, hit Burthier. Boothier. Let's finish this. We're at a 50% on uh, Gruka. How are we only at 50%? They don't have any armor. I find that very curious. We're at 60% on. Okay, let's do 70% uh, Guiding Bolt on Boothier. Oh my god. I, I have really, really god awful luck right now, I have to say. Tell you what, um, I'm gonna get. Why don't we just like push someone? I like pushing someone. There we go. Wow, they get to land all their hits. Critical miss. Concentration broken, however. Okay. That's fine. I'm cool with that. Uh, maiming strike possibly maims your target. They can't move. Uh, I'm cool with that. What would be their... What's their sacred sacred flame? Okay, so they get... They have a pretty good dex check. BRB. All right. So I, I find it curious that Boothier has um, as good of a dex save as she does. But I'll buy it. Um, why don't we do an inflict wound? 70%. There we go. Wow. My, my luck is just like straight up dog shit right now <laughs> like the actual worst 70 percent miss with our like level two spell i guess it's only a level one whatever okay i i need a win here uh lazel please please don't miss there we go oh no oh she's upset Okay, um, we're gonna do a dash. I wanna, I'm, I'm curious how this adds, uh, lightning charges. I have a funny feeling those are things I cannot make use of unless I have a means of discharging lightning charges. So we're gonna run over to Shadowheart. And... over here trying very careful not to um get in range can't have disadvantage against target okay so i the i have critically failed in the most basic way of equipping uh, asterion and i will have to fix that in the future so the lightning charges actually add a little bit of extra damage which is nice will protect me. um let's do no let's just do a basic attack wonder concussive uh, smash would be okay critical miss so now she gets to attack boothier's wrath okay so oh no she missed thank god um he's got oh you can do a lacerate let's do that 80 percent. this might kill her yay I ever walk in on a bugbear and an ogre Let's just put this behind us. Far behind us. Oh. 
gold Mo rogues morsel all chemical ingredients combine three of these to grind them into salts what a gruco have javelins a morning star what's Better the camp soon might be a while before there's another chance to rest diluted oil of sharpness what is this mangled corpse elixir of the colossus silver chalice we'll have a quick look at stuff here we'll do a rest i'll fix asterian's armor i'll try to anyway i don't really have backup armor unfortunately weirdly this mangled corpse doesn't have any armor mm, worth examining Ooh, some treasure okay let's actually do um we can do a short rest but people are kind of starting to run out of spells tav is out of spells shadow hearts out of spells it's long rest time All right, I'm going to call the episode here and I'm going to do a little bit of management in my own time. Uh, no one has any dialogue, so that's fine. Except for Withers. Withers has something to say. So let's talk to Withers Seems real quick. Like a good moment to talk. We meet again. As predicted. I shall be here in thy camp for whenever thou hast need of my services. Um... You're sorting something before. What were you doing? Beyond mortal realms, there doth exist an amalgamation of spirits akin to thine own, ensnared by the treacherous cult of the Absolute, felled in its name. They bear great discontentment with their destiny. Okay, so they're, they're bad news. For a mere pittance of coin, I might summon the worthiest among them to lend aid to thy undertaking. Will these hirelings be joining me willingly? Most willingly, forsooth. Their passions doth run deep for what hath been wrought upon them. Do you think I can trust these cultists? Suspicion always haunts the guilty mind. My services are all that I can proffer thee. What thou wilt do with them is for thee to undertake. Okay, so maybe, probably. Are there other ways you can help us? Should thou or any of thy compatriots perish, I know this part. I will cleave soul to body once uh, more. You look very ugly doing it. That's not nice. Helpful. No one's dead on my side at the moment, though. Indeed. Farewell. <laughs> I love Withers. I can't. I can't really Indeed. overstate that love. enough. I really do love Withers. I think that Gale. No, Gale doesn't have anything to say. Okay, so yeah, I'm gonna call it here. And uh, if you are enjoying the series, definitely hit the like button. Consider subscribing for more content like this. I'll see you guys next time. Take it easy.